Um, I think at one point, Patrick Sherman, 43-21, yeah. uh, with two minutes to go in the second quarter. What did you tell your team at that point? Yeah, unfortunately, this is the second game in a row when that has happened. Um, you just got to continue to challenge them to take some pride in, in what we do and what we work on. A lot of the time, when you see teams get down like that, the coaches have put together a plan and whether or not a team can execute it. And it's not just on the team. You know, sometimes you put a plan together that looks good, that's not easy to execute. And so you go in at halftime and you make those adjustments. One of the adjustments it seemed to me that you guys really pounded the boards. Is that something that was intentional? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we asked this team what they wanted their identity to be and they came back and they said defending and rebounding because they know that that's what wins championships and if we're going to compete in games and have a chance to win them then those are the two things that we have to do um, so again we have our our moments you know where we get a little lax we have our, our moments when we don't execute with urgency uh, but what you saw in that second half was the team that we expect to see for 40 minutes Can you talk about, I think it was Jada that got the tip in um, from your perspective, what did you see? Well, honestly, I saw us starting the offense too early because it looked like we were going to take that shot with too much time left. And so kudos to Jamira for being able to pull it out and not going until um, we could at least get a shot at the rim and then get that tip in without giving them an opportunity to get the ball back. Could you tell that, that um, Jada would be able to get the rebound and tip it in? I've known Jada for a really long time, and if you told me that Jada was going to win us a game on a tip, I'd tell you not so much. Um, I just really am proud of her. We did tell them all, hey, get it on the rim and all five people go rebound. If we shoot it late enough, they won't be able to throw it down the floor and get a layup. And So I think that was a matter of everybody crashing and everybody being engaged. And so I think everyone um, on Towson had someone to box out, which probably allowed her to be able to jump up there and get it. Uh, for Towson, Kylie Cornegate Lucas uh, fouled out with about six minutes left. How much do you think that impacted their offense, what they like to do? Oh, uh, when, when a player like that fouls out, it impacts you tremendously. That's the equivalent to us losing Jamira Shoots. Um, but kudos to Sky, who is from Indianapolis like us and, and played AAU ball and high school ball for my dad um, and my sister, who's also on staff. Uh, we knew she'd be fired up today, and she would be playing one of her best games, and uh, she proved us right. You had five players finishing double figures. Uh, what does that say about the offense? Well, it's supposed to be equal opportunity, you know, uh, and I think that what the decision that I made in the second half was to shorten our bench. You know, I have been known since I've been a head coach to do everything I can to get as many people who work hard, practice hard, an opportunity to play in the game. And sometimes that's a great thing, especially when February, March rolls around and, and kids haven't logged a lot of minutes. Um, and then in some minutes, you just got to, some games, you got to go with your more experienced and, and older players. And, and that's what I decided to do. And, and again, kudos to them for stepping up. What, is it unusual seeing her as an opponent? No, my sister's on our staff. Oh, on your staff? Yes, oh, and sorry. she coached Sky. Oh, she coached Sky. Yes, and as well as my dad. So my sister and my dad coached together in Indianapolis uh, with a club called The Family in high school called, named Tinley. And Sky attended Tinley and played for them in the summer with the family. Nice. So, again, we, we knew the Sky we were going to get today, and, and – we were right. Is that unusual seeing Sky as an opponent rather than you know, someone you knew for a long time? For sure, for sure. And this game was scheduled last year and got canceled, uh, so I thought we would see her last year too. And I just have to tell you, I love what Laura Harper is doing. I, I do. I, I, that kid, and she's not. She's a grown woman now, but when I was at Purdue and I was recruiting her before she decided to go to Maryland, always been a fierce competitor. You look at those post players and you know she's got her hands on them. And, and they're catching that ball and scoring and rebounding. Um, just really proud of her and what this team is going to do. And she's going to continue to do what Diane Richardson started here. And uh, I just can't promise you we're going to play a whole lot more. That's all, the I have. all right, thank, thank you. you.